Hello and welcome to today's Devna recipe tutorial. Today we're making a savoury recipe for chilli paneer which is slightly different from our normal sweet recipes and there's two reasons for that. One is that Devna is supporting Find Your Feet's Curry for Change campaign. Curry for Change aims to provide um, families from poorer backgrounds across the world, Asia, Africa, everywhere, with vital funds to help them live without being hungry for the rest of their lives. Um, it's easy to forget that there are people around the world that don't have food when we have so much and you can support the cause and help people by hosting a curry night of your own and raising funds in that way. Um, there are restaurants as well that are supporting and you can find all the information just below in the information bar. And the second reason for the savoury recipe is that we are launching our second book towards the end of the year which will be focusing more on party recipes, street food items and sort of informal dining, Indian style and we're looking forward to that so here's the recipe for chilli paneer. Chilli paneer is a really easy quick dish, it doesn't take up too much time, it tastes amazing. Um, importantly, all of the chilli, the salt, the tangy flavours that go into it, they are to taste. So if you don't like as much chilli, feel free to leave a little out and replace it with another flavour or just tone it down a bit. I'm going to start by adding some paneer to a large mixing bowl. Um, I've cut it into sort of sticks, you don't have to, but personally I love to serve it in a wrap and I just find it serves easier in a wrap when it's slightly longer. To that I'm adding some mixed peppers, just colourful, they look amazing, they add a bit of crunch to the dish and make it look really festive. Some onions, just sliced up, but going straight in as well. Sliced tomatoes just for a slightly softer texture and a bit of flavour. Some ginger and garlic chopped finely. The other key ingredient, the green chilies, finely chopped. They're going in with the seeds and everything. As I said, feel free to add as much or as little as you like. Some lemon juice. Sugar to balance the flavours. A little bit of salt, not too much because we're going to add some soy sauce as well which is also salty. So just a little uh, salt to start with. You can add more later if you feel you need to. Two to three tablespoons of soy sauce to get a really nice deep tangy salty flavour. Some tomato puree just to get the sauce going a bit. Marinate it. Mix all of that together. Now that that's mixed up really well, I'm just going to cover it with some cling film and leave it to marinate. You can leave it overnight and cook it the next morning you can marinate it in the morning and fry it off in the evening the longer you leave it the better it's going to taste um if you don't have enough time you can just leave it for an hour or two and it'll still be great but maybe just top up the flavors a little bit more so you get more out of it and come back to it in a little while to fry it off okay so the paneer's been marinating for a few hours and i've got a combination of key and oil in the pan which I'm going to place over a medium to high heat and I'm just going to put the paneer and the peppers, everything straight in together, just wait for the ghee to heat up a bit. Make sure you get all of the flavour out of the bowl and we're literally just going to mix it around occasionally but mainly you want it to go you want it to fry it off a little bit, so you want the paneer to get nicely golden on a few of the sides, maybe even a little bit charred for flavour. And when it's really nicely coloured, it's done. I 
Okay, so this has been frying off for about 10 minutes now. You can see you've got some really nice colour on some of the pieces and it looks done to me. Some people like to cook it a bit further, get more colour on. Um, I find that it goes a bit too sort of dry and a bit rubbery. Um, at this stage it's still sort of, you get the sort of texture when you bite into it but it's still really nice and melty in the middle which is what I like. And we can serve that in a wrap with some mint chutney. My favourite is actually in a lettuce wrap with mint chutney drizzled on or wrapped up in naan or serve it as it is alongside naan or on its own just as a really nice hot tangy spicy snack.